In Creo Parametric, you can save analyses so you can easily toggle their display on or off and not have to recreate them every time that you want to see them. And you can also use what's called persistent display so that they're visible as you're working on your model so you can see the changes in real time. Let's take a look at how to do this. I'm going to click on the analysis tab and create a bunch of my favorite analyses that I like to use. Let's start off with a basic curvature, which is one over the radius at different locations. So I'm going to use the control key to select a few different edges over here so I can see how the curvature is changing along there. I can see it's not that smooth. Uh, let's reduce the scale down here to about 40. I don't need it that high. And so I've set up the different edges in here. And if I want to be able to use this over again, I'm going to click on the quick drop down list and choose to save this analysis. And here it's going to use this name analysis curvature one. I'll leave that for now and just click the OK button. You'll notice that it's still visible on my computer screen because I saved the analysis. Let's create a couple more. Besides the regular curvature, I'm a big fan of shaded curvature, which right now is set to Gaussian curvature. Gaussian curvature is extremely useful when you are doing surface modeling. And just a quick explanation of what Gaussian curvature is. It measures one over the radius at every point in every direction around that point and it multiplies the maximum value times the minimum value. That's the Gaussian curvature, and it gives you an indication of whether you have hills or saddles and how your geometry is changing. And I can see the sharp changes in color along these different edges that I'm selecting. So I don't have the smoothest blends of curvature in between these different surfaces. So again, I've saved it. If I go to the drop down list, I can choose saved and then click OK. And again, I'm using the default name in here. It's going to call this one analysis shaded and click the OK button. So now I have two of them visible. Another big one that I use, let's go to radius. The radius will show me the maximum inside or outside radius, which helps me determine the maximum thickness I can apply either to the inside or the outside of surfaces or parts. And so I'm going to start with my mouse over this surface. I'm going to tap the right mouse button until I get the entire all the solid geometry selected. There I can see my outside and my inside radius. Again, I'll go to the quick drop down list. Here we have the saved option. By the way, the feature option enables some limited behavioral modeling extension capability that would allow me to create these different minimum radii values as parameters in a feature that I could use later on. But instead of creating this as a feature, I'm going to do a saved analysis. And this is going to save this under analysis radius one. You know, I'm going to change this to offset just because I can't remember what the original one was called. And I think this is an easier name for me to remember. I will click the OK button. And so there we can see the different arrows indicating that we have the saved analysis. And the very last one that I am going to do is called reflection, what I call the zebra plot. And the reflection allows you to see sort of the subconscious way your eye would tell whether surfaces blend into each other or not. And so with reflection, Again, like before, I'm going to toggle until I get all these different surfaces from the solid geometry. And you'll see why I call it the zebra plot. You get the white and black bands. And as you rotate the model, you can see how the light changes over there. And I can see that I really don't have beautiful curvature continuity between the different surface patches in here. And again, we can go to this quick drop down list and choose saved. And here it'll be saved as analysis reflection. And I'll click OK. And again, this one is going to end up being visible while I'm working. Like, oh, wow, this is really giving me a headache, a strobe effect. I don't want to see it right now. 
And so to access all these different saved analyses, you can click on the saved analysis button on the analysis tab. One thing I want to point out is when you save these analyses, they're not features. They don't appear in the model tree. So let's go to saved analysis over here. And because I turned on the reflection, it automatically turned off the shaded. If you want to turn these on or off, you click on the little eyeball and now it's no longer visible. If I want to bring back the shaded curvature, I'll click on that one again. And oops, accidentally closed my dialog box. Let's bring it back or probably send it behind the main window. And that way we can see this and I can say, oh, you know what? I don't want to display this one anymore. But this particular one over here, I want to make some changes to it. You know, as I'm seeing a bunch of different things, I keep on sending it behind my main window. I will select it. And if you click on the pencil icon, that will allow you to bring up the original dialog box that was used to create it. And I can say, hey, you know what? The quality level, maybe I want to have it with more locations as calculating it and gives me a better sense of how the curvature is changing along there. And I can hold down the control key and maybe I also want this edge included in there. And I can see, yeah, I got really big changes in curvature that's happening in here. Maybe I want to do something about that. And speaking of which, when I click OK out of here, let's bring it back to the front. I've got it displayed on here. And when I'm happy with the changes that I've made, I can close out of here. And the nice thing about this persistent display is that it updates as you make changes to your model. Let me find the round that I want to change in here. Uh, I think it's this one. Let's edit definition. Yeah, okay. Oh, actually, no, this is not the one. There we go. This is the one I want to change. Let me edit definition. And this one right now has a radius value of 50. I can see, hey, let's, what if I change this radius to a value of 40? and then hit the check mark. And again, the calculations will update as I'm making changes to the model geometry. And another change, hey, let's see, you know, what if I change this 40 to a value of 60, and then hit the check mark. And again, it's updating my different calculations that are affected based on my values. So that is the way you can use saved analyses and again, if I don't want to see them, any of them, I can just click the button in order to turn the display of all of them off and then close the dialog box. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.